Many of the letters I've received so far mentioned choirs, specifically the Pandaris and more or less choirs. So I went to see the more or less choir rehearse to get a feel of what it would have been like and also hear some of their experiences. Cormabian Morlice was started in February 1928 by Mr. Alfred J. Morgan as the Mustard Club. When they then began to compete, they used the name Morlice Gleasons, which literally means sea voice. And their first major success was at the Ponte Prix Stevard in 1929. During World War II, many choirs and musical organisations ceased to exist but the moralists were determined to continue to make music and brought life and song during difficult years. Gentleman from Newbury was originally from the Ronda, was in the tour party with me, and he asked me about choirs, and he wanted to book a choir for an event in Newbury. So I introduced him to the modelers. I wasn't in the choir at the time, I was to come here. I came down and gave him his, them his card, and then a couple of months later, the conductor came on to me and said, well, we went up to Newbury to that fellow who you introduced us to. Would you like to come along? And I said, yeah, certainly. Well, it would be a nice day out. And I went up to Newbury with him on a Saturday. And I enjoyed the concert. And I really enjoyed the after-concert event because the guy put on a free bar and a buffet. And he actually put a beer, a beer barrel on the bus for the choir to come home with. And the following morning, the wife said to me, did you enjoy the concert? I said, yes, and I'm joining the Koya next week. And I, and I did, and I've been 11 years. <laughs> Lots of my friends joined at the same time. Like, so I nearly joined the Pindaris. Really? Oh. Yes, ah, yeah. Because some, some of my, my friends joined the Pindaris. I was thinking of joining them. But uh, I was an apprentice at the time in my night schools on a, on a, on a Wednesday night. And the Pindaris pierced on the Wednesday night, so I couldn't join in, so the more or less it pierced on the Tuesday. So I joined the, I joined the more or less. And you've instead. been with these ever and since? Been, yeah, ever since. So no, no regrets whatsoever. <laughs> no so, regrets. Uh, we had great experiences, we travelled quite a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah I was on the, the first trip we did to Germany, which is in 1962, which is quite soon after the war, really, you know, it is yeah. really, you know, it is, uh, it is doing, we built in Germany, and all that we had a great time. So what's your favourite song to sing at the moment? That last one we sang, Pant and Yeah, Pant and yeah it yeah. sounds brilliant. Yes, sounds yes, yes really yeah, brilliant. yeah. It's new to me as well. And yeah. then, I've never heard it before, I've been in the all these years, I've never heard it before. Wow. And then we only learn it out for that, we sang in the proms and then, then on, on Wednesday. Oh, wow. So, uh, with the other guys as well, who are helping us out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just sing that song anyway. Oh, you guys sounded brilliant on your own. You wouldn't need the other ones. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> so, do you remember what the valleys were like when the coal mines were up and running? Do you? Well, I guess, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was born in Blanket, right? Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. In Six Abbey Road, which is uh, the highest road in Blind. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, my father died when I, when I was a year old, and so uh, we went to live with my grandmother. My mother went to live, work in the arsenal, in the, the munitions factory, oh, yeah, yeah. during the war. Yeah. Uh, and then my mother remarried after the war, and I got a, I had two sisters, but, uh, 
first of all, and they had another brother and sister, a stepbrother and sister, so they, yeah. And then my, then my stepfather died, so my brother had a good hard life. Yeah, so we had second first of all. Yeah. Then Mr. Jeffrey said, and that's, that's the first photograph I, I, was, I was in up there. It was the 1960s, but there, there, there were other photographs which are not, you know, up there. Wow. Can you point out which one you, which one's you? Can you recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> in, in, the, in the center there. Yeah. Oh, I but, see. But, oh, wow. Spit an image. <laughs> I'm not changing it. Better. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that, uh, that is taken in the uh, bowling green in, in, the, in the Darren Park. And, and that's the group and so on, as it was. Yeah. Oh, I've heard about this as well. So this got... Uh, That's got history as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, yeah. Um, wasn't it something like they'd put wages, the wages from them, yes, they, cut they, of their they, wages they, would they, end up going they, towards... They paid threepence a week. Yeah. Towards the, towards the building of the group as well, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, a, it's a quite an history around here somewhere. Yeah, well, br brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Thank you for talking to okay. us. Okay, all right, Chris, are you always all right? Brilliant, brilliant. Do you understand me? Oh, yeah, 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 we can understand. Yeah, yeah, I'll subtitle a little bit.